everyone. Welcome back to our accounting 210. In this video, we continue with the chapter 11, standard post and the variance. And then we talk about the last learning objective. We focus on the fixed overhead variance. Uh, fixed overhead variance. Before we do the numbers, I want to give you some idea. It's different from the variable cost. It's different from direct labor, direct material, and the variable manufacturing overhead variance. Uh, because those three, the uh, variable cost, the fixed manufacturing overhead is fixed cost. The calculation is different. And then your interpretation is, I will tell you, you just focus on this one part basically. So let's get started, okay? Before we talk about this, I want you to forget the AAAS and the SS in the fixed overhead variance. In the fixed overhead variance, you just need to remember three letters. Actual fixed overhead, budgeted fixed overhead, and a standard cost allocated fixed overhead. Okay, so there is no something time something. There is no, there is nothing about that. It's basically actual budget and the standard. A, B, S, A, B, S. Okay, so uh, then you just put the number, the actual fixed manufacturing overhead is $31,025. The budgeted is the expected, the budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead is 30,000. Okay, so those two numbers are given directly. And for the standard, you Standard is the one you still use standards, time standard, sorry about that. Standard is still a standard time standard. And then we said uh, totally um, you produced, let's go to our menu, let's go to our menu. Totally we produced the 31,000 units. And then we said for each unit, we need to have a 0.1 machine hour. And then for one machine hour, the standard is said is $9, okay? So that's the standard. So uh, we still calculate, we said that you totally produce the 31,000 units, and then each unit is 0.1 machine hour, and each machine hour is $9. So that will be 27,900. That's all, that's you get all the information from the calculation. So we said the difference of A and B is called a budget variance, it's called a budget variance, because this is the difference of your actual and then the budget, actual and the budget. That's all you needed to know. That's all you needed to know. And then we know our budget variance is a thousand twenty-five dollar unfavorable. So you spend a thousand twenty-five dollar more than the budget. Okay, that's all you need to know. And then the difference of your budget and the standard is caused as fixed overhead volume variance. This is called a volume variance. Here I want to highlight this paragraph with you. It's the difference between the budgeted fixed overhead and the standard fixed overhead allocated to the production. If the fixed, okay, so the fixed manufacturing over had the volume variance measures the utilization of the fixed capacity cost. Okay, so here is what you will be tested if I test it. If volume is higher than original anticipated, the variance will be favorable because more units were produced with the same amount of the fixed resource. In, uh, in essence, the company used those fixed resources more efficiently. In this situation, the standard fixed overhead cost allocation will be greater than the uh, budget, okay? So what I'm trying, we are trying to say, if production volume is higher than anticipated, your fixed volume, fixed overhead volume variance will be favorable. So if it's favorable, in this situation, it's unfavorable, but if your fixed manufacturing overhead volume variance is favorable, that means given the same amount of your fixed manufacturing overhead, you produce more units. So let's say, hey, your total, I'll just make up a number. Every year, your um, insurance, okay, your insurance of the manufacturing building is one million. 
So that is our fixed manufacturing overhead, right? So if you actually, given this a million, you actually produced a thousand units, 10,000 units. So this is your actual. If you actually produced 10,000 units, then the budget, we said here, our budget is 8,000. So if your actual volume is higher than the budget, given the same amount of this a million dollar of the insurance, then you will see favorable volume of variance because you produce the more volume than the budget. On the other side, if your actual is only 8,000, it's less than the 10,000 the budget, then you will see unfavorable volume variance. You will see unfavorable volume variance. So that's all you need to know about fixed manufacturing overhead variance interpretation. So this is called a volume variance. If you produce more volume than the budget, you will have a favorable. But in this situation, we have unfavorable. That means we produce the less units than the budget. Okay, you kind of sound a little bit awkward with fixed manufacturing. Well, I, I, I'm with you, you know, I feel you. The way I do it is, I memorize this, I memorize how to do the calculation, I get my points, and then I move on. Okay, so variable cost a little bit easy to understand, the fixed cost, to try to memorize and read textbook a little bit, watch the Milken Lab video if you still have any question or email. I see you next time, and then we will have the last video, we do one practice, hopefully you feel better for the fixed manufacturing overhead variance. I see you there. Bye.